<laughs> that's, that's, what we, that's what we are. That's what we are. That's, that's what we, we are. are. That's what we are. <laughs> I'm not against it. They won yesterday. <laughs> Is this not the best? Oh no, it matches best. it matches them perfectly. That's what, no, I feel like this this is like this is top five best. Like best is. Right, right now, not not a long Oh, okay. I thought you were saying all that. I'm not gonna be like, time. damn, no, that's no, that is high praise. Not on all time. Now, okay, top five now. I can get it. Yeah. yeah, I can let you out. I feel like this is us right here. You know what I mean? Oh, right? wait, who's Tommy Tommy? You're more the wittier one of the two of us, so. <laughs> Oh, you let me get it. Oh. I'll let you get it. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna take uh, Tonga Logo. <laughs> we can go take that. Yeah. I'm just gonna be Gato. Just call I respect it. You know what I mean? Because I'm the man. Well, no, because that'd be Carl. Because well, Carl's know. crazy and angry, so he might he might be Tonga Logo. Oh, absolutely. Well, hello, sir. Hello. Welcome. Peninsula Heat. Peninsula Heat and build it. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is what 27, 27 volume 27 of the Black Guy Wrestling Podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can you That's feel me. that, dog? That we made it actually 27? Bro, we're what? We're three are we? Three, three from, from 30. From 30. Yes. Man. Remember we didn't even make it to five the first time? Yeah, I went back and listened to. <laughs> <laughs> I went back and listened to uh the first episode we did. I was like, man. We've came a long way. I have I haven't listened to like the earlier I think the earliest one I listened to was Black Mania, which I still think is one of my favorite episodes. No, that episode was classic. Yeah, no, that episode was classic. But yeah, we've came a long way. But now we've came even more because you're now listening to us on our, our own. own feed. We have our own feed. Champion you don't have Black. to look for look up uh Slick Radio for to get us. No, more. you can go straight to Google Podcasts, Spotify, Podbeam, Anchor. Yes, Anchor. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're, we're we're live off the of Anchor. Um, we're not on Apple Podcasts yet, and Title's playing too many games, and that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll get there one day. <sighs> one day. It's a process. But, but let's do these these regular introductions. I'm the poetic crippler, Scotland Osbury. Uh, usually it's me coming in at third, Nolo Green, but we're tag team champions this week. Absolutely, <laughs> because Carl's not here. Chiquito is currently in Mexico. Oh, he's trying to win the, um, the it, AAA. Going uh, for the AAA Cruiserweight. Yeah, Mexican, all his all day. Mexican title. I believe in him. I Look, I know he's out there. You know, he's living his best life. But I think we can hold it down. We're going to be holding it down for what? Three, three weeks? weeks? Yeah, about three weeks. Until you take your vacation later on. In October. Yes. Yes, yes. And even then, I was, I was even calculating, like, I still might do the show. How the hell are you going to do that? It would be a time Look. difference. You would, need to, you would need to update your computer and get Skype. Yes. You but it can be done. <laughs> but it can be done. He's like, I still want to be a part. I feel you. Oh, look. Not that I don't trust y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm just committed to this to this brand. I understand. Uh, so where do you want to start with uh, this wonderful week? We can start off with Raw. That started off interesting. So there's a story behind that about Raw. Oh, really? Yeah. So I chose not to watch Raw in the beginning because I was in the middle of doing something. Mm. And then I get on Twitter. I'm like, usually, I'll be like, yo, let me see what's going on at the very beginning. And then I go on and I see that there's been an explosion. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was oh, like, you just came in immediately to that point. There's been an explosion. I was like, well, no, the first thing I saw was the Street Profits. I think somebody, I think we yeah. tweeted out. Yeah, they like randomly had them bleak up, blink off real quick. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Why are the Street Profits here? And I remember because um, I, w- I was in my room. Uh-huh. She was in, uh, Chiquita was in the living room. He was knocked out. So, like, I was like, all right, let me, let me rush and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then I saw the clip of Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going through the uh, stage. Mm. And instantly I was like, this is Paul Heyman right here. So, ha- have you seen like everything that's happened? Yeah, yeah okay. no, no, no. I, saw, okay. I, I started watching Raw. Like, All right, so yeah. I, watched, I was watching it from the beginning. And I was like, okay, I wasn't that excited for a, uh, a Braun... 
uh, Lashley match again. Who is? But <laughs> I was entertained. I was like, yo, this is actually not, not a bad match. I was like, I am like enjoying this. And then they just a little back and forth of them just hitting each other, doing um, brutalizing things. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they just get to the stage, and Brian tackles that nigga through. Look, <laughs> the fucking shit. It was. I was telling you, Kido, man. I was like, if there was any, if there's any two people that I feel like is a tailor made feud mm-hmm. that WWE has messed up tremendously, these two is Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. This was entertaining. <laughs> I was entertained. And how long have they been feuding? Months. <laughs> and we now get something entertainment. So they, you know, for those that didn't see Raw, which if you haven't seen this clip, you, you're tripping. Braun Strowman tackled Bobby Lashley through the stage, and then there's the stage p- display. Yes, the and then there's pyro. Corey Graves said, "Holy shit!" And oh, that was wild. I was like, "Wait, he I was like, oh, so we're doing this?" I was just like, "Oh, all right, cool. It's not even nine o'clock. Cool." <laughs> but um, yeah, did you see when they panned back out? Like they were doing it from like the. Like the top view, yeah, and you could hear faintly in the crowd, like "Thank you, Heyman." <laughs> yeah, I heard that. I love the crowd. I forgot where they were this week, but that, I love them. They did their thing. So, like you know, obviously this has Heyman's fingerprints on it. Uh, apparently, Braun Strowman's injured. Yeah, He's so gonna be out for a while. Yeah, which is okay. Just now, some rest. if that was the case, do you think they should have done Bobby Lashley spearing him through? Because they kind of made it look like when they were typing up um, the kayfabe injuries, mm-hmm. Bobby Lashley, like, I guess, had only, like, a few, like, scratches or whatnot. Yeah. But they were, like, Braun Strowman had, like, a ruptured spleen. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, absolutely. You that. know, stuff like that. And I feel like it would have been more effective for Bobby If Lashley. Bobby was the one to hit him through. Because then you could have had, like, you could have promoted Bobby Lashley as, like, this, like, killer. Yes. Monster killer. But, you know, too many blacks in the kitchen. Hey, yeah, you know, we, we can't get too much shine. <laughs> Most black champs right now, though. Hey. Hey. Uh, so, then uh, next, we had the New Day going against the Viking Raiders. Oh, we're going through the whole show? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just liked okay. how this one went. <laughs> it was an interesting match. It, yeah. it was an interesting match. I. It's good to see the Viking Raiders back. Yes. On TV yes. after being gone for they they had a little break they I, they demolished that last team that unknown people last week I believe don't you think it would have been better to have AOP in this slot are is, is are they all the way back though? yeah they they, okay. they had like a little like spot on um on SmackDown where they like ran into Bailey I guess. oh okay. Which, oh, you okay know, that's I a, that's a I weird killer right there okay. myself for real stop it if you think um about it. but okay I remember that. I can see why you would say that because they're more of like the heel team. Yeah, I don't know so, what the Viking Raiders are. are they I don't even. Are they heel? I, I used to think they were baby faces until this week. Um, I, mean, I thought it was a great match. Absolutely. You and know, then when it turned into the six man tag look, later. Can we just. Can we just <laughs> Joe! <for> Joe! Joe. <laughs> Joe's amazing. Look, and he's, I feel like Joe's the best like sneak running because <laughs> he comes out of nowhere. Literally, you don't even notice nowhere. him. It just chucks things out. Now, the significance of this is this was the first match Kofi Kingston has lost. Since he's been champion. Yes, since he's been champion. Which yeah. clearly means he, Joe's not winning. No, he's, he's, not, he's not winning. But I told you, it's win-win It's a me. win-win. Win-win. Either Kofi comes out champ or Joe, or Joe comes out champ. Now, if Joe wins the title... I'd be awfully surprised. I'd be surprised. I'd be, I don't know if I'd be upset. I don't think I'd be upset because I almost feel like if Joe wins, they're going to let, uh, like, Kofi's going to get another shot at it. He's probably going to win again. That's how, If they did that, that's how I figured it would go. So the rumor has started to rent back up about this Big E heel turn, mm. which I just. I, I don't I need. We've talked about it several times, man. It's not necessary. Let them rock how they are. I, I still say. The heel turn should be in Kofi. You want Kofi to hit yeah. no heel? Uh, I think that the the money isn't a, a Kofi Kingston heel turn. Okay, why would you want Kofi to do it? I right, so the new day, right? Yeah, put the booking hat on. Ah, booking ah. hat. Booking hat. The new day has been going strong since 2014, 2015. Yes. Their whole gimmick is this positivity. The unicorns, the pancakes, the bootios, mm-hmm. everything like this. We've gotten the tri- triumphant story of Kofi Kingston winning the WWE title. Yes. They're done excellent. Yes. 
Excellent. But what I would do, and this goes into the long-term booking of him as a champion, mm-hmm. you have moments where Kofi is winning these matches, and his arrogance is getting up there. Okay. Like, he's starting to care more about the title than throwing pancakes. Like, you kind of not, like, Champa in the sense where he becomes obsessed, but, like... The title is more important to him being popular. Yeah. And then I would have a match where he has a close encounter where he looks like he's about to lose. And he has to, he does a heelish thing to retain it. And then Big E and the X are like, you know, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. All right. Question. Yeah. So then when would you want the turn to happen? So would you want it before, would you want it at SummerSlam? Would you want it before after, SummerSlam? Do you want it after? Do, I would do it after SummerSlam. Okay. Yeah, I would do it after SummerSlam. Okay. All right. And like I said, I would do it the, um, the week before you go to Fox. So that he could, like, the no, WWE everyone. champion is this brand new guy, this arrogant. Mm-hmm. I want him to play up, like, the, the Ghana thing where, like, he has, like, Ghana royalty. And he's just King like, Kofi. King Kofi. <laughs> King Kofi. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that sounds fine. King fire. Kofi. I like it. I, you, you you have sold me on that one. Thank you. You you got me. You got me. Look, I, look when, handshakes around this way. Look, when I say that we're doing this universe mode for real, like I'm taking Damn this book shit seriously. I'm oh. trying to prove my worth in this, oh, in this wrestling you. game. I'm not mad at you. I definitely, on my 2K, I made uh, Kofi champion quickly. I just had him have a triple threat match with uh, AJ, because who was the champion in my game. And, oh, you can wait. And, <laughs> and uh... Damn, who would I have him go against? It was AJ. It might have been Seth. For the fuck of it. That'd be a good match. Yeah. Kofi. Ooh. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. Um, definitely ends up with them both beat, jumping me a lot, but it's all good. Yeah, Kofi of course, got it. of course, jump the knee, bro. Yes, yes. Even in know. computers. Yeah, you know, can't win. We all came on top, though. Yeah. We good. Absolutely. Fist bump, fist bump in the air. Absolutely. Uh, Velveteen Dreams, my NXT champion. All day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what what else happened on Raw? Should we just jump right into the to the, uh, to which, the real? Which one are we going with? Or two? We had. Where are you at right now? Uh, we're going oh, we with, can pass that. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I didh- didn't think so. I'm making sure the Undertaker came out. You know, he, can, okay. Can we actually? Uh, there is something I want to say. What's up? I need Taker to stop doing scripted promos because he's forgetting his lines terribly, <laughs> and it diminishes. Like you're supposed to be a dead man, and you're out here forgetting your lines. Yeah. Like, it's corny to me to hear Undertaker say stuff like, that extreme rule. I was about to do my Vince impersonation. You did. I felt it. <laughs> At extreme rules, you The, will the be... racism came up a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm tired of hearing him say, like, y'all will be a couple of lost souls. Like, that's not something you would say. Yeah, I heard him say that. Heard him, uh, what else did he say? I heard him say "rest in peace" and for the first time in a while, and I was like, "Huh?" It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't hit like it used to. Doesn't hit. It doesn't hit like. like this. You know what we're seeing right now? We're What's seeing that? Mark portray the Undertaker. <laughs> we're not seeing like the Undertaker. Like I'm seeing Mark Calloway play the Undertaker. You know what the crazy thing is? But he still had. He's he's still good at like holding the crowd like in his hands still. Like he's still gonna. You even 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 if this the words don't hit like they used to, just because they don't hit for us doesn't mean they don't hit for a whole bunch of other people. You feel like the crowd reaction is starting to diminish a little bit? Okay. I can admit they're diminishing a little bit, but I also feel like he still like has them. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Like like he still has like the presence more than. That's some a, other. That's yeah. a veteran thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he's not like he has to do some crazy shit for him to lose like that ability. What would he have to do? Probably give us. Probably be like old, super old man, and forget everything. <sighs> Rest <sighs> in. <sighs> Pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep it on Taker real quick, though, because earlier this week, WWE, for some reason on their Twitter account, put a caption that said, Imagine. And you had a oh. picture. <laughs> I just realized where you were going. Of Sting <laughs> and Undertaker. Undertaker. Now, there, there was a lot of rumors about what this picture meant because, you know, people thought it was for the new uh, 2K20. People. That would be nice. I would have taken that. Yeah. I would have taken that. Um, there was a documentary 
Uh, the obvious being that there might be a match. No. At our favorite pay per view. No. Anything Saudi. <laughs> Anything Saudi. <laughs> Anything Saudi. No. 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 We don't need a match. For what? For who? What about Goldust? <laughs> what about? <laughs> hey man, that boy was wild. Yo, tell, tell me. All right, so <laughs> I'm just I put. All right, WWE posted that picture, and I just put no. No, 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 no. Some dude come up and was just like, but what about gold dust? Fuck, Fuck out, out of here. <laughs> and I was like, what? What do you mean? Where did this aggression come from? Why? Where did gold dust come from? Why In you a talk- conversation <laughs> that had nothing to do with nothing, gold dust. Nothing. He talked about Dustin Rhodes out of nowhere, and I didn't understand. It made absolutely no sense to me. Hey, look, we're Dustin. Well, I can't say we're fans. I'm cool with him. We appreciate what he does. Absolutely. But he man, got it. first of all, this is, you're not even in the right conversation. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was just like, yo, what are you talking about? And he was just like, people couldn't stop talking about Gold Dust Wrestling. And I was like, that's because in his most recent match, he put on a very classic and very entertaining wrestling match with his brother that we trashed at first because we didn't expect it to be so good. But then it ended up being pretty great. (laughs) Oh, look, on this show, everybody gets work. Oh, yeah. Our favorite wrestler can fuck up. Guess what? They get in this work. Oh, yeah. And we're also quick to admit when we're wrong about something. We just, Absolutely. Happen, we just happen to be wrong on that one occasion. We were definitely wrong. <laughs> definitely. But, <laughs> my man, look, wrestling Twitter is one of the most annoying things I think I've ever encountered. Our buckle T-Bone. That's yeah, the display name. This jackass. <laughs> Boone. Look, if you're going to talk... Hey, look, I'm re- Straight Cash Homie 88. Is that, his, that is his Twitter name. Oh, man. Straight Cash. Here's my thing, right? Especially with wrestling Twitter. I've learned not to debate people on wrestling Twitter anymore. Okay. And just invite them on the show. <laughs> because I can't articulate what I want to say online, mainly because I don't got these Twitter fingers. I have a voice that I can actually project and I can give you my opinion on, right? You sound like a fucking goofball when all you say is, Go Dust is cool. F O H. Get out of here, dog. I didn't understand his whole, uh, where he was coming from at all. And then when I figured out where he was coming from and it made absolutely no sense of why he would bring him up, then we just, I just talked with him. And then he was like, oh, okay, well, you're right. And I was like, what was the point of this conversation? But hey, whatever. It's you fine. know what? You've he was got, corrected. You've gotten your shout out for the day, <laughs> sir. Shout out to him. Um, but back to, <laughs> back to Undertaker and Stane. Is this a match you actually want to see? No! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, for what? <laughs> why? Look, everybody wants a little bit of Saudi money. No. Sean did it. <laughs> he did. An actual mayor of a city did it. Yeah. People people want Pre- blood money. Triple H tore his damn rotator cuff for it. I will but, say I will say when Sean did it, he did the best. Bald Sean. Bald Sean. Bald Sean. Bald Sean did do the best. Oh man. Bald. I forgot about Sean Champa. That's what I'm Sean calling. Champa. That's what he looked like. <laughs> Sean Champa. But yeah, it's. I think WWE needs to stop doing stuff like this. I get if you're trying to engage people in, on social media, but if you are, if this is the test of waters of a match, I think they need to second guess it. First of all, Sting is at least sixty years old. Ooh, is he that old? Fifty-seven. I think because I think he's no. I think he is because I, I think, think he's, he's the, like fifty-seven. Because I think he's the same age as my mom. How old is Sting? I don't. I think he's like fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. I think. I think. Oh God, he is sixty. Okay. <laughs> oh God. And Taker's no young man either. No, he's in his fifties. Now, granted, I did think when Sting came back during that little run, I will say I think Sting's in better shape than the Undertaker. Yeah, but Sting also is like then he's like kind of like super hurt, ain't he? I mean, if you take two buckle bombs. From Seth Rollins, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Like it's it's gonna damage the body a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. But you know, <laughs> no, but no, I don't want to see this match. I the first thing you said being like it promoting WWE 2K20, that'd be fire. I'd be down for that. That'd be the best idea to me. Do you think? Well, first of all, seeing has to get cleared anyway. 
Yes. For the ma- the match to even happen. Yes. And I'm pretty but I don't, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm, sure for he shouldn't get stuff. He shouldn't get it. I know for the money. Hush money is always loud money. Ooh, so they can t-shirt. do this blood money. That's a oh, uh, that's a T-shirt. Oh, uh, uh, look, look at this ideas. <laughs> we split the royalty 50 <laughs> All right, cool. Got this. But um, yeah, I'm here for it, especially if it's at the Saudi pay per view. No, because you and me will be sitting right here <laughs> watching, watching it. it on that TV, <laughs> repping oh, everything man. Saudi. I don't want to watch it. Ching, man, that's sad. Well, but I know what you really want to talk about. On Raw, <sighs> does it have to deal with a certain pregnant lady? Okay, yes, it does. Okay. So let me just go in and get my my frustrations out of the way. All right, I am I am not a fan of relationships. I just want, <laughs> I just, I just want to point, I just want to point that out. Damn, right? you just a uh, uh, Debbie Downer like that? I mean, like, I mean, you know, relationship. You don't like relationships at all? Even if I'm in one, I feel you. But I'm, like I'm, at all. It's not my favorite thing. Okay. It's not my favorite thing. Oh, damn. Another thing I don't like is when it's thrown in my face multiple times. I can agree with that. Right? It's annoying. Mm-hmm. And it's even more annoying when it's being thrown in my face and there's no chemistry. Now, I fully understand I am watching a, a television program where characters are playing <laughs> extensions of themselves. Yes. But I think it's safe to say... That Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch have no chemistry on camera. They are awful. Yeah, it doesn't seem too good. Dude! It, nah, it doesn't seem too... Uh, Mike and Nillis doesn't even say anything, and the married couple do way, do way better. Let's talk about this thing. <laughs> First of all, where the fuck did they come from? They're on 205 Live. And they just came on Raw like nothing happened. So they're doing, they're doing. I guess they're wild card. Did you know? I even said, I said to Shakito, I was like, have they mentioned the wild card thing? Like in my mind, I was like, is the brand split finally over? I don't think it's gonna be over much longer. I look. I hope. (laughs) But I guess who's not getting pushed? Mike Kanellis. Oh, of course not, dude. That was terrible. (laughs) The burial. Look, it's one thing, and I I, I don't think I I think I tweeted out, but I, I, I don't remember. It's one thing for you not to say anything. I I get the gimmick. Mm-hmm. Like he took his wife's last name, which I think is a very emasculate <laughs> thing to do in pro wrestling. I understand it's a gimmick, but it's like, all right, I can't take you serious because you're not the top heel. Your wife is. I don't see anything wrong with it. If, it's, if you're the, that's just the, the gimmick they have. You but like how can I take you seriously as a if you're a top contender mm-hmm. or you're trying to present yourself as a top contender and your whole gimmick is you took your wife's last name. You could take it as he'll do anything for his wife. As a heel? Yes. You can still have like some crazy like love dynamic with that. That's even like if some... even if you like the heel, the woman can be is definitely the biggest heel because that's what that's what she is, but that's just how I, I feel like that's the only way you can do it. I'm also playing devil's advocate. You I'm are, yeah, like I'm, gonna say, yeah. I'm not saying that I like it. I'm just trying to. Say. <laughs> you didn't have me sold with your devil's advocacy. Hey man, <laughs> I, I wasn't that dedicated. <laughs> wasn't that, wasn't the man that. stood right behind Maria, and was, yeah. she was like, "I deserve my own championship because I pushed." An eight pound baby out of my uterus. Yeah, I was like, ooh, edgy. <laughs> said edgy. I was like, if that's the case, then there's a lot of women out here that deserve their own championship. You every are, every you mom. You are not special. Every mom. Yes, you are not special at all. And then she called her husband a bitch. Yes. And that's when I was like, this nigga's career <laughs> is over. over. Uh, you know, what, you know. So you, I have a question. Huh. So, you, so you, do you think they came up with this, or do you think that like this was written for them? This was written for them. Okay, this cool. was a straight punishment. Okay, just because sure. I, I do. Th- all right, so let, let's explain. So there's the match took place between Maria and Mike Kanellis against Seth Rollins and Ben. Now, in a, a different promotion, Seth Rollins versus Mike Kanellis would probably be a banger of a match. 
Not that. Yeah. Not this night. Not not in WWE. And let me just state the. I'm not talking about the character Mike Kanellis. I'm talking about Mike Bennett, the man who has overcame a serious drug addiction. He has overcame, I get, you know, adversity. Got himself in the best shape. Has a beautiful wife, beautiful daughter. You know what I mean? Another on the way. Another baby on the way. Yet here we are, being called a bitch. Yeah, he got emasculated last uh, Monday. He definitely did. He, <laughs> they, they I killed him. And the death blow of this, the death blow, was he tapped out to the disarmers. Yes, he did. Once again, <laughs> I have no problem. In fact, as we speak, Slammiversary is going on. Oh, and, is it going on? Yes, and oh. there's an intergender match taking place between Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanchard, which I actually am putting in my top feuds of... I saw the... I think the one when they, like, jumped her. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that, and I said, oh. I said, hmm. It's been built perfectly. <laughs> Sammy Callahan losing to Tessa Blanchard... To me, watching the way the feud's been built up is believable. Yeah, I want to say from that shit I saw, yes. I, they've built this really. They've done their damn thing. I w- <laughs> Go ahead, Impact. Let's flip the coin real quick. All right, back to WWE. Becky and Mike Kanellis. This armor. He didn't. He tapped quick. He tapped as quick as Lacey Evans. Yes. So then Seth, Seth and Becky do their whole stupid relationship thing. And then Maria gets in the ring, and she continues to emasculate the man. Yes. Like. Very, it was uncomfortable to watch. Oh, it was just, <laughs> and then she finished it. By <laughs> saying, oh, <laughs> man. Did you say some shit like, it was the next time, I wish I got like, got Frank pregnant Mike, by Becky. Becky. I said, ooh. Oh, so, you, you oh, what are you doing? Oh, what kind of, what are we watching? I wonder if Mike Kanellis is like. Yo, oh, they, really, gave, they gave that segment a B minus. Wow. Okay. Uh, you saw what? That's what Bleacher Report did. They gave that segment a B minus. I don't trust anything Bleacher Report. Oh, I feel you. I was just curious. I, I, this, that, this is what comes up for the results. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I just read it like that. <laughs> I usually don't really pay attention to what the extra grade is. Now, I don't have no problem with this if this is leading to something. Mm-hmm. But I don't see the end game to this because I genuinely like there's some things you can't recover from let's be for real this is one of those things you can't recover from because now people I I don't don't, know I feel like anything's possible I was going to say because Seth and Bobby Lashley still have a have a career after that god awful segment last year oh yeah they, 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 they recovered from that they did they did. Well, hey. Anything can happen. Now, is this bad? Yes, it was very bad. Was it really? Unco- it was very uncomfortable to watch to see him get a mask. That was on one of the, That was a cringeworthy. <laughs> cringeworthy. I, and you know what? I'm putting a lot of. You know, I also think Seth and Becky just. They don't do it. Like they're fine by themselves. Like the worst thing they could have done is blend reality into. Yeah, storyline. They didn't need to bring the relationship to the yeah. storyline. Because first of all, it completely to me, to me, this is just my opinion. Mm. It to me, it completely throws off the whole man gimmick in a way. Because when you look at Becky Lynch as the man, I'm supposed to look at her like as this ass kicker, this you know, this certified badass who doesn't need anybody. She walks her own. But now she has a boyfriend. But now she has a boyfriend, and it's Seth fucking Rollins. Well, man, he's probably the girliest man. (laughs) Okay, first, the man needs love too, and you ain't had to go so far. I was like that. That was unnecessary. (laughs) Why has he got to be the girliest man? Seth, like I said, Seth, like Seth, borderline punching that Finn Balor (laughs) mind with me. Damn, you put him there. He's he's right up there. Wow, man. The more look. Why are you? Why? What is? What is your this? What did you not you like about Seth tell Rollins me so bad? That Seth Rollins is one of the most obnoxious characters on wrestling programming. 
Oh, he's no, obnoxious. Nothing that Seth Rollins does, nothing that Seth Rollins says, nothing that Seth Rollins portrays is anything of, like, somebody that I want to see. Y'all talk about Baron Corbin heat. Seth Rollins has heat with me. I put it this way. Um, Seth Rollins, he's obnoxious, but just because someone is obnoxious doesn't stop me from still enjoying them from what they have. There's no... I'm pretty sure that's a lot of things for you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I can find the positive out a lot of shit. It's fine. It's you cool. want me to play that video clip? Which one? When we uh when we blow up, how you're gonna act. My nigga, I want I was like, if we was like in the same room <laughs> I'm not saying that I would put hands on you. I'm just saying that was not called for. <laughs> was I was like, I can't believe this dude tried to put this up I, here. I didn't, and I, then my homegirl even liked it. I said, Really? I saw that. I was like, I was Damn. Like, I was like, like That's, that's how just, you feel? I was, I was like, Damn, like, Caleb. I was like, All right. <laughs> hold, hold on, I got everybody. Oh, nah. Yo, that shit is trash. <laughs> Yo, I fucking hate you. Because <laughs> the funniest thing out of all this is that if this was true, if like one of us, like, I mean, what, if this was to happen to one of us, it'd be Nick. <laughs> Nick would be the best for me to watch out here doing that bullshit. Absolutely not. <laughs> yes. I suck the hell out of you for that. Yeah, it would be you. <laughs> because we both know it'd probably be Chiquito, if anything. <laughs> That uh, you know what? That's probably true. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say it can't be neither one of us. <laughs> no. I, I can see I, I, I can, can see, see you doing that. No. What the hell are we doing that for? With a white girl. <laughs> Get out of here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that you would even put such things on the internet. I was I was deeply appalled. So I obviously people can't see what we're talking <laughs> about, but that clip was and mind you, this is I'm gonna give you like verbatim what happened and how I found that clip. Okay. I woke up getting ready for work, 4 o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. and I'm on Twitter just before I was getting ready, mm-hmm. and my homeboy retweeted it, and I was like, what is this goofy shit? And I was like, wait a minute. That's why is that Michael Jordan. Jordan? Why is Michael B. Jordan with this white girl on the beach? More importantly, why is Michael B. Jordan singing an LFO song? <laughs> I remember when that shit happened. So I was like, what, was it? Oh, what is it from? I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what it was for. I just remember the video. And I was like, he has, he just out here frolicking with that white woman. He, but, like, <laughs> I hate to say it, man, but my man was out there tap dancing. <laughs> he said, tap, tap dancing. Oh, man. She wanted the white girl even bad. That's the problem. No, she was not the she best. She was, girl. Girl. like, what the fuck dance moves were you doing? I don't know what he was trying to accomplish. I don't know, but. I laughed. I saw it. I was like, this is definitely world. Yo. Are you not- <laughs> don't you ever in your life <laughs> disrespect me in such a way. Let, let's get back to it, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, back, back to back to Seth and Becky. Because like I said, I'm very passionate about this. Truthfully. Yes, this is yours. Because only because, man, like you're talking about your two biggest champions, right? Seth on one Is hand, Seth really the biggest champion? To their eyes. I think in their eyes he is. Okay. And I think in their I always wondered why the Universal Championship looked bigger than the WWE Championship. Because the WWE. Ball. Ch- I feel you. Yeah. But the WWE Championship actually has WWE in the name of heavyweight champion of your shit. So I just always felt like that. I was it was funny because I was just listening to a wrestling podcast and they were talking about Kofi. Mm. And they said something along the lines about like. WWE has been trying to make Kofi look like a top star, but people just aren't buying it. And I'm like half tempted to tweet him because I'm like, "What do you mean they don't? That, they, they don't? No one buys it. He's still over as fuck." That's what I'm He's, saying. Like <laughs> Kofi for real is the best book champion in the company. Believable matches. Absolutely. Believable matches. Um, I guess because he does the whole like pancake thing. But here in the thing, just because he's silly. But bro, the thing about that, right? And this is more of a metaphysical thing, right? Oh, yes. Um, on this podcast, you get a little bit of everything, right? There are genuinely people on this planet, right? No matter what happens, <coughs> car breakdown, mm-hmm. no money in the bank account, somebody passes away who always finds the positive in everything that they do. Yes. <laughs> Facts. Raise his hand. Yeah. You might have a moment where you're like, damn, or you get mad. Yeah, of course. But the next day is water under a bridge. Yeah, I don't let it stay with me. So 
Shout out you've to been Kofi. you've been like that my, forever. My king. Kofi, my king. <laughs> <laughs> but but you feel what I'm saying though, right? Yes. And for the gimmick of the new day, what is their gimmick? Positivity. It was great. So for people to say Kofi's not a serious champion, if the gimmick is power of positivity, he Kofi gets mad, mad when he needs to at the right time. Him yeah. running out and bodying Joe and Raw. That was one of those moments. Yes. What did he do on SmackDown? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, do you know they like censored that in some places? Yeah, I saw. That's why. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. All he did was flip him off. I was like, I'll be having naked people on TV, and they <laughs> and it's like you can't take a hand. But sign language. Sign. I mean, mind, mind you, like. The, it, the, the internet's a dangerous place that I've, I've now just stumbled upon. You got people out here licking ice cream. They do be licking ice cream. I feel about like what do, what do you think's like a a worthy punishment for those people that be licking ice cream? So I didn't know that the girl was fifteen. Yeah, she's young. I, I didn't know she was. 15. Yeah, I, I knew she was underage. So I was so I've always shot her I some bail. Like, I thought she was like twenty two. No, I, I I shot her some bail. The, the moment I found out she was uh like underage, I said, "Oh, she's just dumb and little. I mean, young and stupid." I was like, "Don't kill." I was like, "Don't put her ass in the system." No, now. no. So, just <laughs> my honest opinion, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll be first to admit when I when I thought she was like 22, 23, I was all for like not giving her twenty years. But <laughs> damn, nigga, he's about, he's about to give her twenty. No, I, I, wasn't, <laughs> for, I wasn't for the twenty years. I was like, that's a, little, that's a little excessive. <laughs> I get where people were going with it, only mm-hmm. because like that is tampering with. Oh, no, she did something there, definitely wrong. Yeah, it's not like she ain't doing anything wrong. She just, I just don't feel like her entire life should be destroyed. Over. No, at, now at fifty, <laughs> now here's my thing, right? Mm-hmm. If they're gonna give the book to her, I want to see them give the book to the white boy who went and picked the shit up with his hands. Yes, I want to see the shit with the dude who I guess took the mouth uh, the mouthwash and put it back in. I want to yeah. see his ass get the book because keep in mind, them grown ass adults. Yeah, we're talking about a minor. Yes, right. And then keep in mind, this is a minor, and once again, looking into a broader spectrum, and, you know, I am throwing color at this, you know what I mean? Well, you know the um, world hates black women. So. Exactly my fucking point. Yeah. At 15, we all did a lot of dumb shit. I'm not, giving, I'm not giving her a pass. No. You know how happy I am we didn't have, like, social media or anything like that at, like, 13, 14? Dude. Yo. Dude. Oh, man. I'm going to jail. Dude. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we was wilding. Do you know how many trespassing passes I'm? Oh yeah, absolutely, tr- yeah. absolutely. Yep. Statute of limitations ten years. I mean seven years, by the way. Seven years? Yes. Yeah, oh years. shit! So I can finally admit it. Mm. I graffitied my uh, my high school. Really? I did. Oh I man. Did. Word. And we almost well, got caught. And the <coughs> only thing that saved me was living across the street. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You definitely live right across the street. Oh man. But that has nothing to do with wrestling. <laughs> nothing. Not a thing. You get a little bit of everything here. A little bit everything. of everything. But going back to the whole Kofi thing and the reason why I, you and me are on the same boat about Kofi should be recognized as the top champ. There's nothing Seth Rollins has done that's special to me. Seth Rollins has. I think this his title run has been a bomb. I think we <coughs> already know it's setting up for an eventual reign. Reigns mm-hmm. title run. The real travesty in all this is really Becky. That she's being included in this, when she could be doing her own thing. Absolutely. Having, having great feuds with great wrestlers. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, right? Because I feel it's any day now that Sasha Banks is going to return. Yes. Sasha Banks is going to be cheered like crazy. Absolutely. Becky Lynch is going to be booed. If they put the two of them together. Yes, they're, they're not going to be behind Becky. No. If they're behind Becky, it's going to be like, you know those like those cheers when they try to go back and forth with the cheers? Yeah, it's not going to One's going to be really loud, and the other is going to be like, Becky. Becky. <laughs> Becky. Becky. Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> yes. That's exactly how it's going to go. And like I said, the cringeworthiness of them on TV it just it, it's it's proven like now keep in mind this on Monday they're mm-hmm. wrestling Andrade and Selena Vega who are not a couple they're not but they have fantastic that yeah. is a case they have of fantastic, fantastic chemistry on screen chemistry yes 
and I already know they're gonna lose. Of course they're gonna lose. You can't have them lose. You can't have the Universal Champion, the the Raw Women's Champion lose. I mean, you could. They're not. I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you. Maybe to they'll lose. Maybe they'll only win by disqualification. I, we both know that's not gonna happen. <sighs> <laughs> Now, I'm going to ask you an honest I want you to give me an honest answer, okay. right? I'm here for honesty. Who can come to the barbecue couple-wise? Oh, what? Like a WWE? Between these two couples. Oh, oh you actually have like yeah. choices for me. Okay. Seth and Becky All right. or Andrade and Charlotte? Andrade and Charlotte. Okay. Are they staying yeah. the whole time? They can stay as long as they want. Do they have to bring a plate? I feel like they should bring something. Like, it ain't got to be a plate. It could be like some beverages. Okay. Party favors. Whatever. Whatever's their fancy. I'm that person. Yeah. I bring plates. Oh, you bring plates? Yeah. Um. Because you never know. You never know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's always bring, good to bring ice. The ice person is clutch. Even the person that has to go back and get more ice is also clutch. I'm not actually gonna be 100 with you. What's up? I think me. Mm-hmm. I think the ice is over. Like it's not overlooked. Because I really don't like ice mm-hmm. in my drinks, so like, like I wouldn't think like oh I need ah, okay. Because yeah. in my mind, I'm like ice is terrible. Oh no 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 no! You need the ice for like to keep the things cold. That's true. That's for everybody else. Everybody yeah. not gonna drink the uh, the liquor. Do you think it's a very? You think it's you think it's a cop out when people just bring chips? <laughs> I don't think it's a cop out. It's just that like damn. I was like, well, you brought something. You did. Yeah, you know I, what? It's participation. You yeah, participate. Because I be thinking, I'm like, you know, some, there be some, some times I've been to barbecues and I mm-hmm. brought chips. I'm like, damn, I'm hoping nobody thinks like I'm broke or anything. It's just mm-hmm. I really don't you know, have time to cook. Yeah. It, it kind of depends, like, to me, like, whose barbecue is this? Whose cookout is this? Like, who's joint? Like, who, who, are we, where are we going? Like, do I, like, really? This is, like, one of my good friends or anything. Because it kind of depends on that to me if I'm actually going to bring a plate or nothing. It does. Yeah, because if not, then yeah, I'm going to just do you think hit you with the, the bottle. Do you think it would be tacky to have, like, you need to bring your own dish at a wedding? Like, if somebody threw a wedding and they were like, we would like you. Like, bring your own dinner? Yeah, bring, or no, not necessarily bring your own dinner, but, like, kind of, like, make it, like, a potluck. You want to have a pot? Do you think You I'm, know what? I don't think that's, what's the word that you used? Tacky? Tacky? I don't think it's, like, tacky. I think, like. I just wouldn't trust any everyone's cooking. This is true. This is true. Just because of your friends don't mean you like the cooking. Very true. So, and this is supposed to be your wedding, so I want everything to be good. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Oh, life. no, no, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just, I just mean, like, I'm trying to personalize it. And shit, that's all. We can talk about this all day. Yes. <laughs> I know. I, I have a feeling I know where you're going. And yes, definitely. Wait, do you? I have no I, idea. I was gonna say I, I really wasn't. Oh, okay, like, cool. I wasn't alluding to anything. Okay, cool. Okay, at least I don't think sure. I was. All right, so. I just wanted to make sure. I was whatever it is. I wanted to make sure it was afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. But uh, let's let's continue on because after the after that raw kind of fell. Oh, the MVP currently of WWE and currently to me of professional wrestling is a tie between our truth. Mm-hmm. And Drake Maverick. They are going hard. Keeping everything alive. Yo, Best these YouTube, in WWE. Yes. These YouTube's videos are uh, amazing. Yes. <laughs> First of all. You know what? Who gets a... Also gets a... I'm going to give her the sixth lady. <laughs> his Renee. wife? Yo, his wife be going hard. Yes. <laughs> she is selling this perfectly. I still think she's going to pin him. <laughs> it, has <laughs> to, it has to happen. <laughs> now, yeah. I had a moment where I was like... I was like, is she doing all this because she wants a contract? Because she is a wrestler. Oh, the, I I wouldn't be mad at it. Mm-hmm. You know, get your coins. But no, they're they're they our truth and Drake Maverick probably is the feud of the year for me. It has been. There hasn't been a misstep. No, and I don't think there ever will be. Nah, as much as uh people were trashing this title, this shit is hilarious. We grew, we actually have it on the game too. Oh, yes, you should. Yeah. Why not? Is our truth the champion? Yes. Oh, okay. Come on. I'm just making sure. Come on. I have to make sure, man. Come on. But I'm, I'm, like, uh, I was about to, I can't remember how many times. What are you, like, eight times? Yeah, he's creeping up on the Ric Flair numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's halfway. Yeah, you know, and you know what? I stand for our truth. Our truth does. Our truth is He gets it done. Yeah. <laughs> Religiously. Whatever you give him, I will make this shit work. Look, Drake. 
Or not Drake. Yes, Drake. Oh, Drake. And our truth, we salute you. But like I said, yeah. oh, the other thing that took place, the Street Profits on Raw. Now, oh, yeah. Par- now, apparently this is not a full call-up. This was a Paul Heyman decision to have them included on the show. They're still the champions mm-hmm. of NXT. They're not vacating them. I have a theory, What's the theory? of what they're going to do. I was about to, because I'm trying to understand, like, what was the point of them being there? So, I'm 100% positive <coughs> they're getting called up after summer, after take, uh, TakeOver in August. Okay. I'm positive that every member of the Undisputed Era will walk out with the title, which I am all here for. This is this is Oh, so oh, Roger Strong's going up against uh Velvet Saint Dream? It's it spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> but it's gonna be Velvet Team Dream, Roger Strong, and Pete Dunn. That's Triple Threat, man? Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, My attention. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Man. And then the the tag match is Street Profits versus Where's the undisputed area. Yeah, I know that. And then Cole and Gargano. And okay. I think once again the visual of ending of TakeOver is all four members with the titles. I'm here for it. I'm here for it, too. They said that that's what the plan was. So. And then I even said, I was telling uh, Chiquito, I was like, I was like, imagine that we're going to be at NXT TakeOver for WrestleMania weekend. And not only do we get to see the Undisputed Era, but we're probably also going to see four title changes. Yes. Because, because they're feel- probably going to get called up. Yes. Yes. As long as I get to do the boom. One time, I'm good. Technically, might get able to do it four times, three times. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. But um, okay. yeah. So the, you know they were there. Um, at first I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. At first I thought it was kind of pointless, but it did like it definitely uh highlights the fact of how over they are. Because I thought that I got, like, the crowd really enjoyed them when they're on t- any time they show up, so. I want to apologize to Angelo Dawkins because I tend to forget. Angelo Dawkins is, a, is kind of a, a very charismatic dude. Mm-hmm. He, he he really does, to me, have a D.L. Brown vibe to him. Yes. And he, um, I like their chemistry. Yes. With them, <clears throat> like them together. Montez, like, Mont- yeah. Montez okay. Ford. I think people need to slow the roll with him. Possibly being WWE champion? Nah, I don't, know. I don't see that yet. I, I see, I see, uh-huh. or United States. Yeah, but I also think we also have to remember he might just be a guy. Jason Jordan is a perfect example because mm-hmm. everybody thought Jason Jordan was going to be shot to the moon. And keep in mind, he did have neck issues, which you know he had to retire. But I didn't see Jason Jordan as WWE. Guy. Yeah. <clears throat> if anything, it's okay to be a tag, just a tag guy. Yeah, like you're made. Like I don't see Dash or Dawson becoming a single star. They're a tag team. The Street Profits can I mean, be just that, good. a tag yes. team. Absolutely. Um. Now the question: Do you think that the Street Profits getting caught up was a direct response of Private Party on a uh, AEW just? couple days before because there is that it's very ironic that that's when they decided to call them up um i can see both sides to that Mm -hmm. but i also can see them getting up like making it on their own merit true talk yeah because well then you well of course if you're over nxt most people love they like Full Sail loves you. Yes. Like you. Yes. It doesn't, they, like I said, doesn't take much. <laughs> doesn't take much. Nah, nah. So not like everyone. We would get over it. Full yeah. Sale. <laughs> yes, we would. <laughs> yes, we would. Shout, but, out, shout out to my, one of my own waters, man. But like, yeah, man. Um, But no. But I can see it also being like a, they see, somebody was like, yo, they like those black guys. We got our black guys. Let's try to make this happen. Once again, another call out to fucking white wrestling Twitter. Stop comparing every fucking black tag team to each other. Yeah, they're not really the Private Party and Street Profits, they're not the same tag team. No. I have to excuse my own ignorance because like I said, uh That was the first time I saw That was the first time I saw and you know, I think it's an honest mistake, you know, to say they remind they can remind you of somebody, but they're not that team. 
So private, like, you know what I mean? I said the comment, I, um, I don't know if I said it on the show or just while we were watching it, mm-hmm. but I was like, they remind me of the Street Profits. Yeah. Not even knowing that they've been together since 2015. So yeah, I they've been together, yeah, they've been together yeah. longer. So I apologize on that front. Mm-hmm. But two different two different tag teams. Two different styles. Two different styles. Both very entertaining, though. I, I saw somebody was like, the Street Profits on the main roster is going to be crime time. Which is fucking, like, to me, that's disrespectful. Not to Crime Time, because I thought Crime Time was an excellent tag team. But you, they're not the same. Like, they're not going to be, they're not going to be, Crime Time and the Street Profits are not, like, they're, they're not going to do them like they did Crime Time. Yeah. <laughs> I never understood why Crime Time got a lot of hate, personally. I thought they were, mm-hmm. I thought they were entertaining. I thought they were funny. My. Wait, no, that was... Wait, yeah. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. Money, money. money yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, yeah. I'll even say that... Se- I don't know if you remember that segment Crime Time did with DX, where Shawn Michaels was, like, talking, like... I can't remember. Yeah. I feel like halfway that I do remember. Like, wasn't he talking, kind of talking like them? Yeah. Okay. It was, like, at the, when I was 16, it was hilarious. Yeah. At 29, it's like, this nigga really used the word jive. Yes. Like, it's supposed to be fucking cool. I was like, I expect nothing less from Shawn Michaels. Or or Triple H, for that we, matter. We know how Triple H gets down. <laughs> Triple H is one of those, like... Who does he remind me of? He reminds me of... I'm trying to let you get your thought before I ask the question. Go ahead. Just ask was, the question. All right, cool. Um, what is your favorite... Me and Diggy were sitting here watching... Uh, when I was watching uh, Over the Edge, totally forgetting it was that pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was watching Triple H, and then I remember, like, I forgot about that theme, his theme back then, that I used to really like. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> My time? Yes. Yes. And then I was just, and then Diggy was like, yo, so what? what is your favorite Triple H? Like, which one? Theme? Like, era. Like, era for him, like, any time. Oh, that's easy. 2000, 2000, 2000, 2001. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When, like, in detail, from, I didn't become a Triple H fan until the Cactus Jack match at the Royal Rumble in 2000. The oh, that was fight. fire. That was, oh, that's... because I, when I say I hated Triple H, mm-hmm. I hated Triple H. And to an extent, I still hated him. I was about to say, what type of way? I, so... I hated Triple H, but I still respected like I did. him. I respected him and what he did. I, I just hated him because he was a heel. <laughs> so well, I hated that nigga. I'm giving you a and he won all the time. <laughs> I'm giving you a nine year old me mindset. Okay. At this time, so we're going into 2000. We're going into the street fight. I was mad still that he turned on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. That he beat up uh, the Rock. You remember when he smashed the casket? Yeah, he smashed trailer? the fuck out of that casket. I got upset when he beat up Jr. Which, in hindsight, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. He wish it happened more. I thought he ran down Austin. <laughs> I was like, this son of a bitch. I also thought he ran yeah. down Austin. That was booked pretty well. But like I said, the Cactus Jack match like changed my whole opinion on him because like I was I hated him because he was a heel, but I was like. You also didn't think he was that good. I, I really thought he was a terrible wrestler. Damn. But it, it switched. It, yeah. it really did switch. But, um, yeah, so 2000, 2001 is probably my... It fell off, oddly enough, after the quad injury is when yeah. I stopped liking Triple H. Mm. And I didn't start liking him again, truthfully, until... He started running the next team. Pretty much. Damn. Pretty much. <laughs> I was joking. Pretty, pretty <laughs> I was joking. Because up until that point, like I just after the um after the quad injury, it just it didn't feel the same. Mm. But what about you? I'm trying to so as I said before, when he turned heel. I hated this nigga. Mm-hmm. And it won't because I didn't. Like, I, I still respected his wrestling. So I still didn't take, I enjoyed the matches. But I hated him because he would he would win all he would win all the matches that I really wanted him to lose, which was all of them. All of them. <laughs> I was like, yo. I was like, yo, he's just going to keep winning. This is just what this is. No one can stop the unstoppable. <laughs> uh, but, um,. <sighs> Damn, what match was it when that dumb match when he had to go up against 
uh, he, he had uh, Shane and Vince's partners <laughs> in Stone Cold, uh, Undertaker, and Kane. And then whoever pinned him. Oh, no, it was uh, The Rock. The Rock, yeah. yeah. yeah it was, it was the, rock. the Rock. Yeah. You're right, you're right. And The Rock won. Mm-hmm. It was The Rock, you're right. Because he pinned Vince. I do remember, yeah, I do. Yeah. I like just remember my favorite. I just remember him going nuts, which was one of my favorite things. Cause seeing him angry brought joy to me. It, look, <laughs> I think we we should like that's actually I feel like something that we should we should rank our favorite favorite Triple H matches. Cause I actually have some hidden gems from Triple H. Mm. I was actually yeah, so, like one of my hidden gems is the chain match he had with Kane in Judgment Day 2001. I forgot about that. That's a fantastic match. But then again, Kane was that nigga back then. It was. Kane was amazing. <laughs> yeah, 2001 Kane. Kane knew what he was doing. When that nigga did a Hurricane Rana to Big or uh, Albert. Top five <laughs> moment. Top five moment. Yeah, Just, when that nigga started jumping off uh, turnbuckles like it was nothing, I was like, yo. That nigga's a cruiserweight. <laughs> He's seven feet <laughs> fucking tall. He should not be doing this. As you, and as you see, ladies and gentlemen, as you see that other than what happened? The first two hours of roll, <laughs> nothing oh, yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, uh, uh, they, the what you call him? AJ's heel again. Let's say that so we can get. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Because we're on this Triple H kick right now, <laughs> which I enjoy. I, you know, it, I think. Look, first of all, Triple H is dead now. All right. We love Triple H. Yeah, we love Triple H. It's, it's weird. Triple H is my See how this has gone full yeah. circle? We used to hate Triple H, love Triple H, hate Triple H, love Triple H again. As long as he keeps doing what he's doing, I can't hate Triple H. Now, I do think people, I think what people say about him is true. What? About how he, like. Oh, how he was? Or no. Is. That, oh, yeah, definitely that. But also about, like, how Triple H is, like, that uncle that tries to be cool. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Here's he's, a trying, he's trying to relate. Here's a good question, though. Before NXT, say NXT never happened. Okay. Right? Do you think Triple H's legacy was that he was part of the team, but he wasn't the star? So, like, he was essential to the Attitude Era. Yes. But if you think about it, Triple H has never had, like, that defining, like, must see. I have to see Triple H wrestle this guy. Like uh, you had Austin Rock. You have Rock Mankind. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I guess you could say Triple H and Sean, but like that dude didn't really do anything for me. No. Ah oh, man, they had. I'm not gonna say that because I actually really enjoyed that feud. I didn't. Man. I liked it when they when they went up against each other, and then they had. What match was it when uh, he tried to kill him? <laughs> What's it? What was it? Oh man, uh, they didn't have no two out of three falls match. No, Are you that. talking about the uh, three stages of hell? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That one. Oh yeah. So I I like those matches and I like when they went up. I'm not saying it was perfect, but I enjoyed them. And however old I was I feel at you. that time. Well, fourteen year old me wasn't fucking with it. I was oh, just like, well, then shit. six then. 16 year old me was loving this. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. But yeah, do you think that that be his legacy? Like, he was. He was. He, a, he, he wasn't. He was never Jordan. He was Pippen. Yeah. Well, in DX, he was He was definitely uh, the, the original. <laughs> he was always the Sean side. And then he just carried it after him. So DX, DX afterwards, afterwards when it was Road Dog and Triple H was the leader, it was like the Chicago Bulls when Jordan retired. They were yeah. still good. Yes. Still good. Yes. Still did their thing. But he didn't but get it's, that. It's that it's like you're not. Yeah. You're not like like I said. I think he's even said it. Like Mick Foley made him a top star. He did. You know what I mean? But even still, like I feel like Triple like like I said, it's essential. You know what I mean? Like. Those matches are actually one of my are one of my favorite classic shit. But like all the matches he has with uh, <laughs> with Mick Foley. He's never had a bad match with Mick Foley. No, he really had like if, think about it. He's never really had a bad match. Nah, he performs all the time. Look, Trip Trip got my respect. Absolutely, I mean? he has my respect. That's gonna be our future ruler. <laughs> so I have to. Respect. Our what's a future king? You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, back to Raw and the more important thing that took place. 
We got AJ Styles who turned heel. Finally. <laughs> Even though it was something it they did out. exactly they did before, the exact but exact same way. The exact same way. But I guess we're not supposed to remember stuff like that. It was like three years ago. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things like they want you to forget. <laughs> Just never happened. <laughs> Just oh, you know, and obviously, uh, Corey Anderson and Luke Gallus has re-signed mm-hmm. contracts with WWE. Uh, shout out to AEW. Make that money. Look, AEW is getting people paid in WWE, so you know, <laughs> yeah. man, I'm all for it. But um, good move, yeah. bad move. I don't see is that. Ricochet the right person for them to feud with? I didn't think he was the right person for them to feud with, but I'm not mad at them bringing them together again. <laughs> and of course, they should be healed. What the hell you want them as faces for? Too bad Ambrose left. Because we would have oh. got the club and the shield. <laughs> yeah. You know that would have happened. Yeah. And it would have been a decent match. Do you think he should have been Roman? Like he should have turned on Roman? Like, to make it more effective? It was Ricochet just that that baby face that's like, you can get by. Because truthfully, I'm not going to front. I thought Ricochet was about to attack Oh, he thought. <laughs> I really did. I was like, I was like, is he about Is Ricochet about to turn heel? Because then no. I'll give the nigga props. No. But instead, there he is being a dumb fucking baby face. Not gonna let him be heel. Not yet. Because he's healing my eyes. He's not. In fact, you know what? I'm not even calling him Ricochet. I'm gonna call him by his real name, Trevor. Oh, Trevor. Let me, let me tell you something, I Trevor. Didn't, I didn't know that was his yeah, real name. Trevor. What a bitch name. <laughs> let me tell you something, Trevor. You dumbass. Be smarter. Damn, you wanna just talk to Trevor like that? I am going to talk to Trevor like that. I'd say the way AJ smacked him ain't nothing compared. Hey, hey, hey Trevor smacked him back. Weak ass smack. He smiled after. <laughs> Stop hating him. Stop hating him, Ricky Shit Dog. I let I let I let the slave to go long enough. I, go I appreciate long. you. I, let, I appreciate I let you. you. I, I let you rock let me, for a little let me, bit. Let me, get, let me get my shit off. I, I let you rock it. for a little bit. I was like, nah, okay. Yeah, I, I gotta stop. This. Oh, I gotta, gotta stop. This. Get a little bit. Kind of like, yo, did you see that knockout last night? Look at Asker. I think I've watched that shit at least like twenty times today. Yo, man, that nigga died within seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with Raw. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> oh, I don't have anything. To okay, do. yeah. I, I just knew we had to talk about AJ Turner Hill eventually. Yeah. So. Oh uh, no, that knockout was crazy. Wow. Oh. Did he talk shit afterwards? Oh man. I, no pro- I had no problem. Oh, I had nothing. I had no problem. He like, talked shit that entire time beforehand, and he just got his ass whooped. I know Dana. Quickly. I know Dana White was probably like, I told y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all niggas about Askren. <laughs> hey, keep on. I was actually a fan of Askren, like. Like during that like his initial period when he, like he was at Bellator, mm-hmm. I actually liked him. But yeah. I'm actually like I actually like Jorge Masvidal too. I like Masvidal. You know what I mean? You know and, what I mean? and and Ben Askren was in the wrong. He Completely. Was. He was. Now you know what I noticed? I actually kind of like thought about this. I was like, because there was that period where like I didn't I wasn't watching wrestling, mm-hmm. but I was watching like MMA was my thing. Yeah, I remember. That's when I met you. Yeah. I didn't know you were a wrestling fan until Dick told me. Yeah. I mean, until Dickie told me. <laughs> but the crazy thing is that I thought about it. I, and it, oddly enough, I was at work when I thought about it. I was like, when I stopped watching MMA was when I got back into wrestling. Hmm. I was like, man, that's... You can't love them both at the same time. You know, I actually blame my decline in watching MMA mm-hmm. because it just is was just too fucking... Like, it was hard for me to keep up. I was like, who are these new niggas? I was like... Yeah, they, a lot of them didn't come out of nowhere. And then also when John Jones, like all that shit happened, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't do this no more. Yeah, John was making it kind of hard to be a fan, man. He but was you know, I'm up. still still my oh, guy. Oh, no, no. Still, still my guy forever. Yeah. Never. Never will I turn. No, forever. Man. You are forever the GOAT. But we'll call spade a spade. You love that coat. But it's cool. It's fine. He almost lost. He did almost lose. For some reason, he didn't want to take him down. That was weird. I didn't get it. I didn't get it either. I thought Santos. I thought Santos was okay. All right. Shout out to uh, Amanda Nunes. Woo! She ended Holly home quick. That shit was broke. Oh man. You know what I mean? Good times. Good times. Good times. <laughs> what else we got on on tag? Uh, Hold we on. have. Sm- I got my notes. Go I for it. I got my notes. Hold on. I think the majority of my notes was just talking shit about. Uh, <laughs> about WWE. <laughs> um. 
Oh, yeah. Last night was the uh, first night of the G1 Climax. Yes, it was. Uh, truthfully, neither one of us have watched it. Nope. You know, shit, Not even a little bit. Yeah, shit happened. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? I did watch the Kenta match because I was very intrigued to see what Kenta was going to be like in his first WWE or first non-WWE match. How was it? He looked fantastic. All right. A, you know what I mean? He has like that cagey veteran role now. And I think Kota Ibushi is like one of the best sellers. So, uh, yeah, I think... I'll uh, say Ibushi definitely puts on a yeah. show anytime. Osprey put on a great match with uh, Archer. Archer. That I heard that was a fantastic match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. said something in his uh, promo backstage that American fans don't like appreciate, appreciate technical. technical. And I was like, that's fucking true. It is. <laughs> they want. They just want the savagery and everything. They don't can't watch like technicians go to work. Yeah, because I remember like watch. There was a match Survivor Series '94. It was Bret Hart versus Bob Backlund, mm-hmm. and it was like 40 minutes. It was a very technical match. I loved it because, mm-hmm. like I said, I think that was one of those matches you have to have the patience to watch because it is a very like. Technical, very, it's not like brawling or anything, mm. but like I remember, like people hated it, and I'm like, you fucking uncultured swans, <laughs> yeah. like you can't have, you can't have all those blood and guts, man. Like you gotta. That's pre- not. The, this is the real shit. This is what it's built off of. And this is what wrestling was. Yes. You know what I mean? Like niggas stretching the shit out of each other. Mm. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, but uh, <laughs> but um. Yeah, you know what? That wasn't. Yeah, you know what? Maybe just randomly just think of that because oh. we not that match. You don't know what match you're talking about, but I remember another match with them when Bob Backley choked that nigga out when it had like mm-hmm. Owen was in his corner and shit. That's the match. Oh, is that that match? That's the match. And Owen threw the yeah, Owen threw the towel. Yeah, yeah, that's that match. Oh man. Yeah. We all yeah. the same way. Okay, yeah, cool. Making sure. Making sure. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Damn, because I ain't seen it in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, the G G one. You know, it was in Dallas. The crowd, how was, was the crowd? The crowd looked lively. It wasn't sold out. I think it really, was, it wasn't. It was not sold out. Hmm. You, you could see the caps. You, you could see the wow. caps. I'm kind of surprised. Aesthetically, it looked great. Mm-hmm. It did look great. I think their biggest mistake was not announcing the matches. Not you didn't even have to announce the matches for real. I feel like you could have promoted big time. The first ever U.S. match between Tanahashi and Okada, mm-hmm. and that would have sold it to a hardcore fan. Yeah, you that know what definitely I mean? had them be ready to go spend their money to go. And spend. I and I understand, you know, that they um, New Japan they don't announce the G1 matches until like a couple weeks before. But you could have done like when they announced the the, the Dallas show, they could have been like, you could have just announced Okada and Tanahashi as the first G1 climate match. So that'd be the only two people for a couple months that you know are anyone else. Yeah, um, I think it did hurt them not having John Moxley. Yeah, because they pulled him out, right? AEW already on that shit. <laughs> it was like nah, because they just pulled Sean Spears out of an independent joint too. Hmm. Yeah, they they not playing. They they're like, oh no, nah, nah, you, you can't do that. Whoop. Bring your ass back here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I feel like they could have at least just. Not say who they were fighting, but you could have had like four people. Mm-hmm. Like you could have just been like Okada, Tanahashi, mm-hmm. Osprey, mm-hmm. Jeff Cobb, and could have just been like, all right, these four wrestlers will be there. We're not telling you who mm-hmm. we who they wrestling, but they will be there. And then now I think that I had enough people really interested into it. You know what I would have done too? What's that? I would have like I would have promoted the last United States appearance of Jushin Liger. Mm. That'd have been easy. Nigga, it sells itself. Yeah. You mean to tell me this is my last opportunity to see Juice and Liger? Hell yeah, you can have my money. If I have the if I have the money, I'm going. Look, all these dollars. Here all you go. Dollars. Also, shout out to New Japan for doing some some innovative shit at for Wrestle Kingdom. They're What's doing that? a thing where they have a women's only section. Hmm. Now, granted, I feel like that should be more in the US because there's a lot of fucking perverts. That go to wrestling shows. There's a lot of weird, there's a lot of uh, interesting yeah. people that go to wrestling shows. Like the did you hear about the story about the dude that like pooped himself and then except for leaving, he just stood there. It was at the Double or Nothing. Yes, 
Yes. Like, nigga, you're not missing anything. Yo, just go. Yo, you pooped yourself. Go. I'm not going to lie. That, that, you would have got slapped. <laughs> nigga, go. What are you doing? What are you still doing here? Oh. That's yeah, outrageous. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Uh, we're just doing quick hits right now. Shout out to Jacob Fatu. We're in the ML- MLW. Have you seen any clips of him? I have. He's the big nigga that looks like uh, Umaga. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Shout- and first of all, shout out to Umaga. That was yeah. a real nigga right there. That's that guy. But um, he y'all know that he definitely reminds me of Umaga. I, I really do think like a year from now he's gonna be one of those like we have to like he's gonna be like a top bidding war. Oh yeah. Where do you think he's going though? Personally, yes. Are you asking, like, where do I really see him going, or my opinion? Oh, no, I'm asking where you see him going, not where you think he should go. Oh, okay. I'll ask you that later. two different Yes, yeah, I know. I'm sure it's, I'm sure the two different answers. Oh, uh, WWE will be yes, on. Well, yes, it will be, be on, yeah. Where he's definitely going. Because you have, like, you legit have family there. Yes, absolutely. Now, the smart thing for him to do, mm-hmm. you go two ways. One, to go to AEW to show, like... I don't want to be associated with Reigns. I don't want to be associated with the Usos. They're family. I love them. But I'm, my own thing. I'm my own man. Two, I think he would make an excellent addition to the Girls of Destiny. Absolutely. Yeah. That would be fire. That's probably what I want to see him do the most. Exactly. <laughs> That's Thank probably you. what I want to Thank see. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be cool in AEW. Fuck that. Yeah. The, <laughs> Samo- the Samoans and the Tongans? Come on, dog. Come on. It's all, it, 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 it literally all this shit writes sells, itself. Sells itself. We man. should not be booking this shit so flawlessly. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. I'm just saying. I feel like they could do this. I believe that. One day. It's gonna happen. No, no, it's legit gonna happen. Like mm-hmm. that's why yeah. I even took a, wa- a warehouse job. So we, <laughs> we can afford shit like this. <laughs> even if we have to start doing like even if it just starts with just like booking shit just on a piece of paper and just seeing what happens. But speaking of booking, you know, booking, you know, we have to give a shout out. And you know, and I don't want to butcher anything, so I'm gonna pull up some uh some some notes. Okay. But a couple of weeks ago I stumbled upon a thing that started blowing up on Twitter in our neck of the woods. At but Black what? Wrestling Twitter. And this was this Pan African World Championship. Okay. Yeah. Like now, I I saw it but I didn't like see like like, what was it about? Yeah, so there's a promotion that just started called the Pan-African World uh, Dysphoria Wrestling Championship. I guess, I, I, I don't know if they've put on any shows. I've been trying to do some research. I mm-hmm. think they have. They're based in more of the Maryland, the DMV area. Okay. So they're not that far from us. No, nah, of course not. But they have this gorgeous title. You know, they I did the, see the title. That, that shit title crazy. beautiful, right? And what they're doing is they're doing a tournament to crown this first champion. Mm-hmm. And all the competitors are black. Right? Obviously, Pan- A- Pan-African, yes. for those that don't know, is, you know, exactly that. You know, we're talking about Marcus Garvey. We're, you know, we're talking about stuff like that. Um, I guess the joint is run by Johnny X Bra. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually just did a show with a good friend of the the podcast, Black Black Wrestling. Um, okay. Much, a much listened to episode. I think was very important. I think this is very important because absolutely it goes into the conversation about black wrestling and the lack of appreciation that it does not that it does get when there is plenty. Plethora of talent out here, um, and like I said, man, like you know, lately, anytime I come across a black pro wrestler on Twitter, I automatically follow him because it's like yeah. I want to support you. Give all the support you can. Yeah, I want to support you. I want to watch your matches. I want to mm-hmm. see what you can do. Um, and I'm like, like I said, it just so happens a lot of my favorite wrestlers like are black. Not just because I am black. No, but because they're great. Exactly. Like D'Lo Brown, my nigga forever. Uncle D'Lo. <laughs> shout, out, in fact, shout out to Uncle D'Lo who got that impact. Impact. Job. You know what I mean? Impact yeah, money. Salute, salute to D'Lo. <laughs> I, you know what? I take back what I said about D'Lo needing to lose a couple pounds. No. Because I saw him do 
the lowdown. Still looking flawless. It was fucking beautiful. I was like, <laughs> this is this is flawless. You know, I was like, Dilo, you know, I want to see you lose weight for the for, for health. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I don't believe in you. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, how important is this? You know what I mean. Like, it's. Obviously, something I, I, it's not a one and done type of thing. I think nah, they're definitely having a tournament about it, so I would hope, yeah, yeah. I, I hope it's not a one and done thing. Mm-mm. Um, they should definitely continue. I'm gonna definitely look into it to see, like, like what's how everything like, is going on. You know, I would actually love to interview some of the participants. You know, I'm trying to get that set up, but oh, that'd be a, a yeah, win, you know what I mean. And I, I would love for us to go to a, a show out there, especially if it's... Just for support. Yeah, support you know what anything, I mean? Anyway. But the, the question now pegs, because, you know, even though we've joked, we've joked about it, I feel like we're being, like, we're half-joking, being like, but being that serious, about running a wrestling promotion that's centered around black talent. Mm-hmm. Is this something that can actually be done? Obviously, it is being done, but do you think people would pay money to go to a wrestling event that's exclusively black. I'm talking black wrestlers, black referees, black commentating team, black ring an- uh, ring announcer, black timekeeper. I feel like it could be done. It's just, yeah, I like it could be. I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to figure out. Do I see it like being like super successful where it can go up against everything? Because I think it's possible. It's just gonna take a lot of work. Yeah, lots of work. It's 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 possible. Like it takes. It's gonna take like all of us coming together and making this thing happen. <sighs> that that's that, how I see it. And but you know what? Let's be truthful. That that can be frustrating in itself because it doesn't always happen. No, of course not. You know what I mean? Because Everything doesn't. I guess I look at it as this is a great opportunity. Mm-hmm. I think this opens doors. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I. have in just this tournament, I've had the opportunity to see and realize, like, wow, there really is a lot of black talent that doesn't really get talked about, that really doesn't get shown. Oh, there's hella people out here that doesn't get any type of shine. Yeah. And all it takes is, like, someone to notice. That's it. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> That's really I was about to say, because just imagine if, like, a few of the matches just happen to just make it, like, on YouTube and shit, and people get to see it. And they're like, oh, this shit is fire. This is amazing, and they get to see like how like how they get down. Do you think uh, there would be a drawback from people? But like, this oh, is, you, you know, know it, like, man, like, they complain about fucking everything. What do you mean? There's a nigger with the WWE title. <laughs> what? We can't take him seriously. He throws pancakes. <laughs> Who allowed this to happen? Your champion back in the day was in Playgirl. <laughs> yes, yes he was. Let's call a spade a spade. Yes he was in Playgirl. Out here wilding. But you know what I mean? Like, man, I think it's... it's Drug shine. <laughs> Perk Michaels. <laughs> Perk Michaels is real. But you know what I mean? Like, it, I think it's very important because... And I think that would happen. And I think the, the support would be essential because then you could push all that back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you could really... I'm not even saying, like, I want, like, it be WWE level. But can you imagine, like... Wrestling being a thing, and I've said it on the show. Wrestling being a hotbed in Africa. Yeah, why can't it be? That's what I'm saying. Like, in fact, I think. And like, who put who posted that that shit with the like them in Africa? Do it? Yeah, it was you. Okay, yeah, it cool. Was me, yeah. All right, cool. And I was like, oh, okay, and, this is and, fine. And NXT Africa. Yeah. Because you can, you know what I mean, and they go to Japan. They get these these non wrestlers. They go to India. You get these non wrestlers. You go to the UK. You get these non wrestlers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But just think of the talent waiting in somewhere like Ghana, West Africa, or Nigeria, or Sudan and Senegal. You know what I mean? Shit, even Egypt. You know what I mean? You know, depending on uh, what part you go to. But you know what I mean? Like you go to these deep rooted in our community and our culture and you actually find some of the best talent. Hidden like, gems. Think, yeah. Like Hidden. If, even if you went to the Caribbean. Oh, I'm sure there's people out there that know what the hell they doing. They just gotta get their shine, as exactly. you said. Exactly. 
Like I think a microscope. I think one of their biggest mistakes that they do, and I actually said this a couple years ago, that they never took advantage of looking at African teams from the Olympics. Oh, just like seeing what else they can See, do. Engaging, yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because they saw. I remember they signed a Brazilian that was in the Olympics. Uh, I think they signed a couple of you know Indian gentlemen that mm-hmm. were in the Olympics. Why do you not look at Africans? Yeah, just to see what they can do, what Africans. they have to offer, or you know the Jamaican, you know what I mean, stuff like that. I mean, just I'm just throwing it out there, you know what I mean, because he's the one of the most popular athletes in the world. Imagine a Usain Bolt wrestling. I can't see him personally, yeah, doing I'm just, it, but I, I, just, I just yeah, you know, I know okay. But yeah. even the, like even the gimmick, well, that was kind of Kofi. <laughs> yes, yes, he was Jamaican at one point. One of my favorite DX promos oh, when they man. was like, "Wait, weren't you Jamaican?" <laughs> Kofi was like, <laughs> <laughs> "He looked like, wait, I've been found out. <laughs> How did they know?" But yeah, man, like it's essential for like a podcast like us to to talk about that. You know what I mean? Even shout out to. You know, the people I've seen that talk of that, I think we're starting to see a shift when it comes to professional wrestling in the way that it treats black, being black. Because mm-hmm. I think we're starting to see. It definitely gave more opportunities to shine. Yeah. And they're putting them on the forefront a little more. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, granted, there's still those, like. Racist people? I, you know, I don't even want to say racist people. I, I don't want to include white people in this because this is really not for them. Okay. I am going to address what I've now realized a arrogance in our own wrestling community because I feel like there's a lot of – there's no – people talk – it's that I want to talk a big game, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to do anything – to support it. Oh, yeah, you know, we need to support more black wrestlers, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you mean people that just out here just tweeting it, but not. Yeah, but they're not putting it. You know, and a mind. big shout out to, uh, again, another brother of the show, uh, Lorenzo. Mm-hmm. Be, I just be talking at it. He does. That shit, boy. But you know what I mean? Like, he, he be quick to talk, to bring that shit up. Because it's a real thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's been plenty of people I've reached out. To come on the podcast and to do this shit with. The reason why the black wrestling and Lorenzo thing hasn't happened yet, because I still want it to happen, it's just a timing thing. You know what I mean? Like And a nigga live in Cali. A nigga live in Cali, you know, <laughs> timing, you know what I mean? Like I can't stay up. <laughs> yeah. You know, you and me, we can't stay up. You know, we got niggas got four o'clock. Yeah, niggas got work in the morning. <laughs> that would really have to be something we would have to do like in the middle of the week. Yes. Or like a Thursday, or where we both know we have a day off, but um, the day off coming, is yeah, true. yeah. But there, I've reached out to people, and it's more of those like, What can you do for me? What we just I just want to talk wrestling with you mm-hmm. and because we're black, we have a podcast called the Black Guy Wrestling Podcast that we can like build, mix this shit you know what I do. mean? Um, I, I'll even give the, the sisters some of the sisters mm-hmm. that are on Twitter. They not about that shit. Like, at first, I used to think, like, oh, man, this is dope. You know what I mean? You got black queens out here watching wrestling. But some of them have, like, this whole, like, God complex. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Mm. To me, at least. Okay. It, come, it comes across. And, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to make no assumptions about people. But. That's just what you've seen out of it. Yeah. To you. Yeah. Uh, I guess my interactions with most of the, the black women that are on Twitter that like wrestling. They uh they haven't it hasn't been too negative. Like I saw your back and forth with a couple of them. Yeah. But uh for real, most of mine haven't been too bad. It they love they, they love Roman Reigns. That's, that's one damn thing. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> they do, they do, they love they do. But even but even something like that, like that back and forth. Mm-hmm. I asked you if you just wanted to come on the show and just talk. Yeah. That's all I, I think short I think old girl blocked me for real. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I think I think she blocked. I know oh, the. Uh, I know the. Uh, huh, no, she didn't block me. Okay. Yeah, there was another girl I was going having a back and forth with. I think she blocked me. Okay. But like, even still, like, I'm just asking you to come on the show. You you here's here's my thing with that, right? Well, and, everyone's is comfortable coming on like a podcast, but you're comfortable talking on Twitter. 
You right. <laughs> you right. You feel what I'm saying? Like I got you. people talking on Twitter. I go, and you know that goes for black, white. It doesn't matter when it comes to this particular niche. We're all mm. wrestling fans. Yes. You're comfortable enough to get behind a computer screen or get and you know pull out your phone and tweet about shit that you hate and stuff like that. It's another thing to do it and then get on your platform of social media or uh, podcasting mm. and do that. And then it's another Say your thing. thoughts. Exactly. Because then, guess what? Now you and me can have an actual dialogue. There's mm. no confusion. We can see where we're both coming from. Exactly. And if there's still no middle ground, it's whatever. You, have, you can't agree with everybody. Yeah, you can't agree on everything. And guess what? You're still going to get promoted that you came on the show. Mm. If we don't feel like the episode's good enough to air, we won't air it. Yes. As simple as that. Yeah, we're pretty fair. Yeah, we are. I think we're fair people. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. You know we were heels at yeah. heart. You are. Yeah, you you definitely are. No, nah, I don't think so. Give it up. Baby face that runs the place. Look in this heel world, who out here? You know who? You know what? I'm gonna sit you down. You're sitting down. And we're gonna watch old. Too cool Scorpio at ECW. Because okay. that's the heel I need you to be. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the heel I want you to be. That's the, you know what I mean? I want you to be 98 D'Lo Brown. I want you to be arrogant, arrogant as fuck. That's what I want. That's what I want. That, and I'll be good. But I don't need to be arrogant as fuck. Everybody has an arrogance. Oh, I do have an arrogance. You just haven't pulled it out yet. <laughs> so there <laughs> you, just you just confirmed. You just haven't pulled it's it out yet. Of course it's there. All right, so it's, give me, it's give, dormant. Give me work. Oh, don't worry. You do, you do what you feel. Give do me whatever work. you have to do. I mean, that'd be the greatest birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. Just don't worry. Why you gonna you, do that? You gonna do that shit when I'm not in the country? Oh no 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 no. It'll okay. probably be against you. Cause it'll probably be like us playing like a game or something. That that it'll come out. Yeah yeah oh, more okay. likely. Yeah. yeah more likely. I mean yeah, yeah when yeah. I'm busting your ass. We have to do it. Shut up. <laughs> nigga, I've been practicing. Practice all you want, nigga. That don't give <laughs> Everybody got a plan until they get hit. <laughs> this is real shit. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Shout out to Mike Tyson and his just his greatness. Absolutely. But yeah, you know, you know what I mean. But that's all. You know, that's really all I'm saying. I feel going back to having an all black wrestling promotion. I don't think the trouble would be the success. Mm-hmm. It would be the support. Well, a lot of people just don't like supporting shit until they think when it's already hot. Very true. Yeah. Very true. But we're gonna support it. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna look into. I'm gonna get look into this because I saw the. I saw it, but I couldn't like find anything that I needed to see. Like I, you know, I really try to at least you know tweet. I think I'm what I'm gonna start doing is like anytime like I follow. I do it anyway, but anytime I follow a new wrestler, mm-hmm. I want to check out like some of their their, their matches and just see what you know what what their what their temperatures like. So yeah, what they have to offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a good deal, shit like that. But yeah, that's that's all I gotta say about black wrestling Twitter. Sometimes they ain't better, they ain't no better than the white niggas. Damn. Well, I got like a. I guess most of my interactions with them would be way better than yours. Because here's the thing, I haven't had no bad interaction. Oh, okay. It's just one of those things. Like I just I peep and I keep it moving. Okay, I got you. That's, that's all. That's I all. Figure. I figure. That's all. I got you. Now, best believe if you come up here with that dumb shit, like I'm gonna like I'm gonna roast your ass. I'm here for it. WWE is better. Shut the fuck up. Get get up. <laughs> How is it better? I'm telling you to get up my man's hurt. Because <laughs> number one, you're disrespecting the order that's going on in here. I was like, man. He was just, I was like, I just need to hear the opinion first before you kick him out. That's all. I gotta give him a chance to defend himself. Yeah. Even if they're wrong, it's still gotta give a chance. <sighs> I can't just tell you to get out immediately. Well, I could, but I was gonna say that you, you can do whatever you like. I know, I know, it's my career. I know. Yeah, like, you, I know. Tell everybody. I was trying. I'm just get trying to be. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. I went to a party. It was a great party. Like it was one of those parties. Like everybody was having a good time. Mm-hmm. We was enjoying it. I had just got off work. I showed up. They had been going on for a little bit. Actually, it was one of those parties where it was a two day party, and this was day two. Great what? Yes, yes, yes. It was nice. It was a good time. Uh, but. I'm sitting there. We all enjoying our 
ourselves, and then my homeboy who is the who house it was got into it with this white girl, and they was going back and forth. Okay. And then he gets angry, and then he kicks everyone out the house, except for like me and like a couple other people. And I was like, damn. So it went from being a party to a kickback. It went from no, it was only me, the, the whose dude's house it was, other homeboy, another homeboy, and his girl. That was it. This won't no click back. This was just damn. You kicked all the fun out, nigga. Why'd you do that? I why well, I I you upset, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you don't want to be around nobody. I feel you. I wanna interrupt a party though. He could have went upstairs. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta separate <laughs> yourself. I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like, I understand. I feel like I shout out to him, man. I, I get it. I just didn't want him to do it. I feel he was like, having a good time. I feel like if you threw a party, yeah. like and if you got mad, you still wouldn't kick nobody out. I kicked the dude that just sucked me out. I want to get the fuck out of my house, man. And that's it, right? Yeah, I want to try to disrupt the vibe. I think the most heel thing you've ever... No, I can't even say you've done it to me. I'm trying to think. There was one. Probably when I talk shit to you in video games, it's probably the worst thing. That's just bitch talk for yeah. real. Oh, bitch talk. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, That's not really a heel you, thing. Oh, you, you mean like when I bust your ass and you don't win? <laughs> Chill. Have no, you won? I actually do remember the the most heel thing that you did. What's that? That you said. Oh, that, that I that said. You, said. you didn't do it. Oh, what did I say? When I think it was the first time, I, first time I met you, and I asked you if you could get a ride home, uh, and you were like, <laughs> you asked me where I stayed at. You were like, oh, if I wasn't going that way, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, I think that's the most heel thing. <laughs> You have ever said to me, and I've known, we've known each other since what? Twenty? We might have been like 2011, 20 something. Yeah, like that. I think that's the most cute shit <laughs> yeah. you have ever said to me. That sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like me. <laughs> if it's not in my general direction, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I remember that. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going home that way anyway. So I got you. <laughs> I can do it. I can't. Yeah, I think so. I, I was just being honest. That's <laughs> all. So. Some asshole shit though. <laughs> it was just being honest. <laughs> Some asshole shit. But did you still get home? I did. So I was trying to figure out where the fuck, why the fuck, like where the hell were we? I think we were at Buffalo Wild Wings. Was it Buffalo Wild Wings? It must have been the one in Hampton because there's no damn way if we went to the one that's in Newport News because I could have just walked home. I don't know where we were to be completely honest. Yeah, I don't remember either. I'm pretty sure Diggy was there, but I don't remember. Yeah, because Diggy was my fucking ride. Oh, oh, why didn't you ride with him? I forgot what happened. Okay. He said something. He, like, he was doing something. But, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Like, I va- I do remember. I vaguely remember that. I don't remember saying that. It sounds like something. It does, no, no, that's a lot. No, it sounds like that. It definitely does sound like me, so I'm not, like, you contending like, it. That's not what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's probably <laughs> top few things you have done. It's not bad, then. Man, that's pretty good. So we got some predictions. Some what? small, some small. What are these predictions for? It's for uh, fight for the fallen. Oh which yeah. Which is of course going to the. Um, it's going. All the proceeds will be donated to the victims of gun violence. Um, is it gun violence or just at the, uh, the since they're in Orlando for the post shooting? Um, this says. Or is just, it all gun? It violence? just says gun violence. Oh okay. So cool. this is up. I oh man, I was about to. I was about to say. Yeah, please don't say anything. No, I wasn't gonna say nothing crazy. I was just—it okay. like, was one of those like it was one of those like unfortunate things because uh, okay. it was like there's been a lot of the gun violence. So oh well, it's gun violence yeah, every day. Know what I mean? That's that's all. That's all. They're very accessible. So what, what's the match card looking like? Uh, we have Brandy Rose versus Allie. Pass. <laughs> um, obviously, I, obviously, you know who's winning that match. Brandy yeah, Brandy Rose. Rose. Yeah, ain't no way Allie yeah, winning that. She match. is the Stephanie McMahon of AEW. Yep. I think it's safe to say. Oh, it's Kenny Omega versus Seema? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, that sounds like That was going to be a good match. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say Kenny, only because, you know, they're building up to Kenny and John Moxley, mm-hmm. um, which I think he'll lose that match. So I think he has to win this match in order to stay strong. Yeah. Um, but then at the same time, Seema needs just lost the match. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because I was about to say, I think I've seen... See, wait, Seymour won the last. Who did he fight last? Oh, yeah, he did. Because he beat at Christopher, uh, uh, Christopher Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I was about to say, it's not like he's lost. Oh, yeah, that nigga's losing. <laughs> That's not even a question. Uh, Cody Rhodes 
and Dustin Rhodes versus the Young Bucks. I'm going to go with Cody and Dustin. Okay. Because I just feel like there would be no point of them teaming. If and they're they just going to lose? Yeah. The Young Bucks, they're coming off two victories right now. So they can afford this loss. This loss won't hurt. No, it won't. And I do, I right now, tentatively, mm-hmm. I have the Young Bucks for the finals in the tag team tournament. I don't think they're going to win. I don't think they're going to be the first AEW tag team champions. Oh, no. They better not be. They better not yeah. be. For what? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they essentially would be Triple H. Yes. In 2003. So, yeah, I can't. <laughs> Running everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can't see them win. So, I'm going to say Cody and Dustin. Cody uh, and Dustin. I'm going to go with uh, Cody and Dustin as well because, again, what's the point of them yeah. tagging together if you're just going to lose? You're going to have them have that great moment. Of Everybody it. hugs. And yeah, shit. everyone hugging and shit just for them to lose. Fucking whack. <laughs> what if Cody turns on Dustin? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one of those things that'd be like, really, dude? I was like, like damn. Really? He could turn on already? He yeah, could have turned on later? He's your own brother. He, well, no. Uh, this is wrestling. Brothers don't count. No one gives a fuck. Um, Adam Page versus Kip Sabian. Adam Page is literally a month away from challenging for, for the, 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 the big title. Yeah, so... The big, heavy title. So, unless... Unless it's a disqualification... Mm-hmm. And Jericho attacks. Oh no, Jericho won't even do that. Jericho's gonna. I feel like Damian Page would win by disqualification. Due to what Jericho uh, interference. Him attacking uh, Hangman? Yes. yes. Okay, I can see that. But there's no way he's losing this match. He better not. No. For what? Uh, now we have. Oh, that seems like the. Interesting. Uh, Jimmy Havoc, Darby Allen, and Joey Janela versus MJF, Sammy Guevara. Sean Spears. Uh, I'm starting a campaign on Just Twitter that. about Too Cold Scorpio getting booked on Joey Janela's spring break <laughs> because I want to see his career get resurrected. You know, but uh, like a PCO mm-hmm. resurrection. Uh, for this match in particular, though, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the heels. Uh, yeah, the heels should win. I don't know why Sam Guevara is in the heel team. I didn't understand that. I didn't get it. Uh, I was like, oh, so he got two heels, yeah. I guess. I guess Sean Spears is a heel. Sean Spears is definitely a heel. Yeah, In right. my mind, he's a face. <laughs> but, we love him around here. Yes. Well, but, we know how you feel about Cody, so. Yeah, fuck that. Like, <laughs> should he should have hit him hard. <laughs> God but, damn. Uh, and then MJF is just a, a fucking delight in pro wrestling right now. My favorite heel, probably. Yes. Now, will we be watching Evolve at any time? We don't have to watch it, you know, Saturday or anything. But, you know, I feel like we should watch. Oh, yeah, we should watch it eventually. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's got some good matches up there. You got Adam Cole defending the title against uh, uh, Tozawa. Mm. You got uh, Riddle and Gulak. Oh, that should be fun. You got some good matches, man. You got some good matches. And then you get to see... Uh, some you know some evolved talent. Austin Theory, Eddie Kingston will be there, which I think is going to be great. Who's Austin Theory going against? It's a, Who is he going against? Is it Roger? No. Yeah. No. 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 Wait. Who pulled that card? Which evolve? Is it one thirty one? One thirty one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. Call Philadelphia. One of these days we gonna go. We even go to one of these shows. Where? I don't know where. I'm with you. Something close. Hey, yo, we're going for you. That's funny. Um, we got Adam Cole versus Tazawa, like he said. Austin Theory goes up against uh, J.D. Drake. Okay. In a winner take all. Uh, let's see. Eddie Kingston and Joe Gacy. Defend against A.R. Fox and Leon Ruff. A.R. Fox, my God. Yeah, yes, indeed. Uh, we have Matt Riddle versus Drew Gulak. Catch point. Yes, catch point reunion match. Uh, grudge match. Anthony Henry versus Otoro Ross. Otoro. Uh, special challenge match. Bubba Tunde versus Kobe Corino. 
Before the four way, fatal four way match, we have Kurt Stallion versus Sean Maluda versus Steven Wolf versus Harlem Bravado. And mm. it says this is the last one they have actually up here. Special attraction Josh Briggs versus Anthony Green with Brandy Lord. I'm like, we're not going to do predictions for that because, no. truthfully, we don't really know the majority of those. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. You know what I mean? He's not, I'm not even going to do that to myself. What? <laughs> but, you know, of all of us. We'll, we'll watch it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's, how, that's how new fans get, you know, that's how yeah. new fandoms get started. You know, yeah. I've seen Austin Theory. I think Austin Theory is a, a hell of a talent. Let's hold on before. Because yeah. I, feel, I feel like we're, we're wrapping up the show here. Indeed. Um, let's see what's going on at Slammiversary currently. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's up. Oh, so currently there's actually been a rumor what's that? that you know AAA is actually doing a they're doing a Madison Square Garden show in September. They're looking to partner up with AEW, meaning AEW is possibly going to be at doing a co-promoted event at Madison Square Garden, which would be big. Yeah. Because they're then, definitely going to sell out Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yes. For AEW, yeah, yeah they and then so. and on top of that, we were saying all you know the big show is all out, mm-hmm. but then at Madison Square Garden a couple weeks out before they debut on TNT, huge. Oh yeah, they huge. Going, they going hard, huge. They gonna throw they gonna give throw out the kitchen sink almost probably for that show. That's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna drop some dogs, but I, I just like, need to know how much it is. It's probably be. Crazy. All right, so so anniversary is going on. The fact that Impact has made it this goddamn long mm-hmm. is thoroughly impressive. Um, which is sad. That's just sad. Impact out here still winning. Oh, uh, let's see the matches. Uh, TJP versus Trey Miguel, Jake, Chris, and Willie Mack. All uh, right. Willie Mack won. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, was it bad on the line or anything? Or was it just? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh no, I don't think it was actually. I think it was a. Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Um, the North, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander, I like them as a tag mm-hmm. team. Uh, the new Impact World Champion, in- Impact World Tag Team Champions versus LAX versus the Rascals, my favorite team. Uh, oh, the Rascals? I love the Rascals. I think they're awesome. Uh, the North won. Oh, okay. Yeah. Killer Cross, who just had a match with John Moxley. I don't know if you saw the clip. That's awesome. Where they beat the shit out of the security guards, which mm-hmm. is awesome. Um... Versus Eddie Edwards in a uh, first blood match. Eddie Edwards is literally Tommy Dreamer now. Yes. Um, <laughs> Eddie Edwards wins. Okay. Uh, Moose versus Rob Van Dam. Moose won. Oh, Moose. I have Moose. Uh, currently in the ring right now is a four-way Monsters Ball for the Impact Knockouts Challenge. Oh, I remember... Um... Uh, Chiquito, Chiquito was talking about yes. that. Okay. Taya Valkyrie, Rosemary, Sue Young, and Jessica Havoc. Uh, the match is currently going on right now, so we'll have that updated for you. Um, Probably next episode. Yes, next episode. <laughs> oh, there was someone else I was going to ask you that was non wrestling related. I don't know. But I'm going to get this uh, uh, sponsor. Oh, Wait, yeah, real quick. Let me do this uh, while I give you time to remember shit. All right. If you are in need of a gift for your friend, family member, significant other, etc., look no further because Choice Crafts is here to help. Whether you have a design in mind or need a little help being creative, Choice Crafts can customize an item just for you or your loved one. From t-shirts, mugs, Greek paddles, canvases, wine glasses, and more, it can be decorated and personalized. Support a local black-owned business today and go to www.choicecrafts.com and use the promo code WRESTLING to get 10% off your first order. That's www.choicecrafts, with a Z.com. And use the code WRESTLING to get 10% and let them know we sent you. We sent you. We sent you. Oh. But yep. Um... Yeah. Oh, did you remember what you wanted to ask me? No, that I was not. Don't. Okay. <laughs> I definitely don't. Unless you, unless you have anything else, my man. No, I don't think, think this it. was a pretty, no. pretty damn entertaining episode. I need. Uh, you know what I mean? Five minutes of the heat all day. Yes, yes, yes. Um, always with our tag titles. Oh man, look, ain't nobody beating us. Nah. Uh, ain't no champions. You Ooh. know what I mean? You know, Chiquito here in spirit. D Mac here in spirit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, Absolutely. I hit D Mac up too. 
Oh, where? Yeah, they never got back to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're going to hit them up on Twitter. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. It's but, yeah. fine. Uh, of course, you can find me on Twitter at Poetic Crippling. You can find me on Twitter at Rally of the Leaf. Yes, and we are. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I know you were saying, I was like, is there more? No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> uh, we're back to being active on Instagram at Black Wrestling, uh, Black Guy Wrestling Pod. Yes. And, um, of course, you can find us now on Anchor, our own feed. You don't have to type in Slick Radio anymore. No, you don't. You just type in Black Guy Wrestling Podcast on Spotify. And Spot- we pop up? Yes, on Spotify, Google Podcast, Podbean, uh, of course, Anchor. Uh, please yes. leave a review. Let us know what you think. Subscribe. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, also, uh, shout out to Pod Dealers Network. Shout out to the family. Yes. Pod Dealers Network. We out here, you know, cooking and baking and doing all those good stuff. Uh, we also have to start prepping our menu for SummerSlam, sir. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know. Oh, there's always a spread there. Yeah, you know. For the man, big like, ones. For the big ones, absolutely. Yes, yes. You we know have. What I mean? We got to go a month in ahead. Yeah, <laughs> it's the only time that you know we can sit here and get drunk and be mad. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? I love big four pay per views. Do you I think I don't I'm go like, to work the next day? Do you think? I, what do you think? I'm letting this job stop me? Hell no. <laughs> it sacrifices. Absolutely. No, because what I'm gonna start doing is, even though I'll be working the Monday, I'll take whatever on my regular job. I'm taking Tuesday off. Oh, that's you my should. Reco- that's my recovery day. This is my rest. Yeah, this is gonna be my my chill day of rest. But uh, next you, week, yes, next week we will have your extreme rules prediction. We will, of course will be broadcasting that for you on a Sunday, as opposed on to Monday. our regular Monday episodes, because we will be watching extreme rules uninterrupted and not having to deal with this. Yeah, it's not deal with your bullshit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So we will be seeing you live and in color. Ha. <laughs> in color. Yeah, yeah. live in color. Yeah, great, great show. Oh, I'll tell you off there. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, okay. But this is uh, Scott and Osprey. This is No Low Green. And we. Wait, what time are you? It's like 1.46. 1.46? Yeah. Nigga, we even still made it to God <laughs> We is out. Peace out.